Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing absolutely wonderful today. I am going to be doing a really quick makeup look but more focused on the review of this NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. This is something I've recently purchased from ASOS and I have been looking for something like this product for quite some time now and I thought I'd purchase this after so many recommendations for it just to see if it works for me, whether it's good, bad, overpriced. So yeah, I just thought I would jump on camera, quickly do my makeup this morning and do a little review of this beauty. So yeah, if you want to find out how good it is and how I created this really simple, overly glowy look, then keep on watching. Oh, my skin today is just dreadful. Like I can't even tell you. It just feels just not normal like I don't know what it is my skin's just broken out in like a rash or so I get dermatitis anyway and I feel like maybe it's spread I need to go to the doctors I think just because I'm just not happy about that I don't know what this is anyway today I'm actually going to be doing my makeup on camera but there is one product that I want to review and that is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. So I have been looking for a tinted moisturiser because I'm not really a fan of wearing foundation every day. It's just not good for my skin. It breaks me out horrendously over, like if I wear it every single day, my skin will eventually break out because my pores get clogged and it's all just a bit of a mess. But I have been looking for like a tinted moisturiser since my dermatitis and kind of, you know, my skin's been breaking out a little bit because I don't feel as, you know, confident in my own skin at the moment because of that. I just don't feel very attractive and, you know, it just makes me feel a bit... So I have been looking for a tinted moisturiser and this has been recommended to me. So I just purchased it from ASOS. It was, I think it's about £31 or something like that. So I thought I'd actually try this out but also just do my makeup on camera. I've just put my headband in because my hair just gets in the way all of the time. But anyway, let's just get started. So this is the tinted moisturiser by the way. I got the shade Annapurna which is medium two, two, three, six, seven. Um, I don't know if this is the right shade for me to be quite honest because I purchased it online and I was kind of just trying to match my skin. It's never easy and I've got a tan as well at the moment so I'm a little bit darker than what I normally am. But we'll see, we'll see if it, it works. I'm just gonna just do my general day routine. So I'm actually going to go in with the Dr. Botanicals Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil and this if you haven't heard of it before it's just one of the most amazing products it's actually for anti-aging and because i'm getting old and i'm getting fine lines it feels like a godsend at the moment and it hydrates my skin which is partly the problem with fine lines especially at my age like i'm 29 and i find that i mean i'm due to get them anyway it's just the whole point of aging but no, if I can delay them as long as possible, like I would be a happy woman. But I am getting like a few here because I'm very, my, my face is full of expression. Like I, you know, lift my eyebrows a lot, especially when I do my makeup or when I'm talking to people, if I'm shocked or surprised or sad or anything. It kind of just happens. So I've started to get a few fine lines. I'm also going to go in with my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, And this is the coconut one. I honestly love the smell of this. Not only is it just incredibly cooling, but I use it as a primer before I put any makeup on. Right, now to try the tinted moisturiser. So, I haven't I even swatched this yet. So, this is what the packaging looks like. I'm just going to put a bit on the back of my hand. To be honest, it says it's a tinted moisturiser, but that's very foundation-like to me. A tinted moisturiser shouldn't really look like a foundation but maybe that's just me i don't know it's got spf 30 in as well which is kind of why i want to wear it today because it's meant to be really hot here in the uk and i'm going to be doing the garden sunbathing probably having my own little barbecue anyway i'm going to just put this on my face it kind of looks like it could be a good shade for me but i really don't know um it might be a bit too dark and for a moisturizer i mean this is not a moisturizer this looks more like a foundation but 
we'll give it a go. I'm going in with like my NYX brush and this is the number 25. It smells so good. <laughs> Just brushing that into my face, like, oh. You get a really nice clean, it's quite sweet, very summery smell. Um, it's actually blended really nicely into my skin. I don't expect it to act like a foundation where it's just full coverage or anything, but that's actually not a bad shade for me when it's when it's actually mixed into my skin. Um, I thought it'd be more orangey or it looked like it'd be quite dark on me, but it's actually not too bad. No, I'm actually really happy with that. I think that looks really nice. I think it's kind of give me a really nice even look. And it's not too different to my actual skin tone at the moment. So, I mean, that's a positive and it's blended really well. It smells really good. I, yeah, that seems like it's worth it. Let's just hope it doesn't break me out, which I'll find out by the end of today, I'm sure. I'm going to use my Hollywood Flaws filter because I mean, I just love a glow. This is just like my absolute favourite, which you guys know I pretty much use it every day. That moisturiser's kind of given me the glow anyway, because obviously it has that tint to it, but it just, it's a very similar colour to my Charlotte Tilbury, which is actually quite nice. Now I'm just going to go in with my blusher. I just use like a light pink blusher and this is like the NARS Assist Unfiltered Palette. I feel like because I get combination skin and I get quite oily, I really don't usually like so much shine on my face because I already naturally get a shiny face. So I try to avoid a lot of tinted moisturisers but I felt like I really needed something and hopefully this doesn't break me out and it's something that works for me because it does look really nice i really like the spf in it and i also like the smell i think it looks nice it blends well yeah no i am actually really happy with that the blush just sits really nicely on top of it as well i'm just going to do some mascara it really is that quick of a look today but i just really wanted to try out the tinted moisturizer on camera At the moment I'm still using my L'Oreal Paradise Primer and Mascara, they still haven't run out. <laughs> so I'm still using those at the moment but I think I'm almost at the end of the tubes. So I will be buying a new mascara to try out and review. I'll let you know what I choose and I'll do a little review on it as well. I ran out of eyebrow pencils so I haven't been filling my eyebrows in lately but they've kind of been growing quite nicely. So I've just, I don't feel too badly that they don't, they look really patchy or anything. I'm just gonna go in with Sex of Sienna by Charlotte Tilbury. It's my lipstick of choice today. Like full summer vibes at the moment. I look so shiny on camera. So that's it my lovelies. That is my makeup look for today. Very quick and simple. I actually really, really like the look of this. I don't know whether when I lose my tan, because obviously I've been on holiday, I'll probably need a lighter version. But I think for summer, because I tend to get quite dark in summer anyway, it will work really nicely. I don't see how this is a moisturiser though. It kind of gives the same effect as a foundation. So for me, it kind of is a bit more like a BB cream than it is a moisturizer. But yeah, I really like it. I mean, 
NARS rarely go wrong anyway, I don't think. I think there's so many products that they have that are just incredible that everyone seems to recommend. But, you know, I think it looks lovely. It makes me look really dewy. And with the Charlotte Tilbury on top, I think it's extra dewy. So I may not necessarily need the Charlotte Tilbury when I'm wearing this. But, yeah, really, really nice. So it says on the back, blend onto skin following daily skincare routine for a sheer natural glowing finish. And I think for me, because I like that whole natural, don't wear too much makeup, quickly do things on the go type look, I think this suits me down to a T. So yeah, I think I'd recommend it. I'll see how I get on and I'll probably post on Instagram whether or not, you know, it's lasted or whether or not I look really shiny and it's broken me out or anything like that so I will update you with that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with all your friends and I'll see you next time bye